What's up everyone, the winner of the final four power of veto has been revealed and one house guest fate is pretty much sealed because of it. Plus, two house guests and I bet you can't guess which two have decided to take a shower. We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your live feed update. Okay gang, now right before we get started, if you haven't already and you want quick, concise and fun Big Brother videos on your YouTube feed, Hit the subscribe button and I promise I don't always have a groggy throat, it's because I'm under the weather. So folks, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button and the bell icon to get notified every single time a brand new upload goes live. Okay, jumping right into the power of veto talk. Now, if you stuck around to the end of my video yesterday, you'll know that we were lucky enough to find out who won the power of veto while I was still recording because that hasn't happened before. They literally did the nominations and the veto within hours of each other, um, so it was the first time I'd ever done an update where I was able to say the nominations and the veto in the same episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, the winner of the power of veto in the final four is Monty. So a huge congratulations to Monty there on winning the power of veto. It essentially means that he and Taylor control the week because it's not the only thing that they control and they control in the HOH room. Um, and uh, making their mark on it, <laughs> to say the least. But yeah, we've uh, we've got a situation in which Britney's fate is kind of sealed because Taylor put Britney on the block. Monty is going to keep Britney on the block, and then he's most likely going to vote Britney out. Yes, it probably would make most logical sense for um, Turner to be voted out. I think, but Monty's not going to do that. He's going to keep his boy safe. And honestly, moving into the final three, I could see any scenario of any two of them getting to the end. I mean, Turner's most likely going to take Monty. I see that happening for sure. Monty could take either Turner or Taylor. And Taylor's going to take Monty. I would say we're most likely going to see Monty, but there's a chance for anyone to get to the final two. Um, but if Taylor gets to the final two, I think she's going to win the whole game. She'll have the biggest underdog story in Big Brother history, which will be... Crazy, um, but I, I just want to say again, like I, I made a huge deal out of it yesterday. I'm just so incredibly proud of Taylor. We've gone from somebody who in week one we thought, my God, she's not going to make it through the final 16. And here she is approaching the final two. Wow. Like literally, she's one away from the final two because she's automatically in the final three being the head of household this week. It's wild. Never seen anything like it. And um, I mean... There's definitely underdog stories that have happened before, but Taylor's really gone through the ringer. Like, she's she's gone through it. Um, so I'm just so incredibly proud of her. But yes, folks, um, if you are wanting to know and prepare yourselves for eviction already this week, I know it's only Saturday right now if you're watching this on Saturday, but we are most likely going to have Brittany as our fourth placer of Big Brother 24. Now, in the late afternoon, the house guests were given video messages from home. It's always an emotional time when that happens. Um... You know, to the people who don't like the video messages from home and think people are always being dramatic or whatever like that, like, no, come on, like, stop being a Grinch, like, have a heart. Whether it's a friend, it's a family member, it's whoever. It's nice to, uh, it's nice to love love, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's wholesome, right, because we see quite often for a lot of house guests just one side of them for the entire summer where it's just game 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 and then we see them cry their eyes out when all of a sudden somebody that they love is presented in front of them and... It's lovely, it really is, and it's it's something that hits home for nearly every single one of us. Uh, I can't imagine being locked away with strangers for almost three months, and then all of a sudden, it, it, in such an intense environment as well, you're not just locked away with strangers, you're competing against them, and you're backstabbing them, and all these things that aren't necessarily associated with positivity and love and caring, you know, all those kind of wonderful things in life, and... You know, when you see these video messages from home, it's literally your first, it's the first injection of that that you've had, unless you've had a HOH letter or you've seen pictures or whatever. It's very different when you see their face, you see the video. Um, it's almost like being there in person. It's not quite that much, but it's the closest you can get. So I'm just so stoked for them that they got those messages. And uh, it's nice because at the end of the day, while they are all playing a game, they are all, you know, somebody's son, somebody's daughter, somebody's brother, somebody's sister. 
they're just related to somebody, right? And uh, I think that's a lovely. It, it really humanizes them all, and um, to 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 those who don't necessarily only view them as players, I think it's it's lovely to see that side of them. And so yes, they were given the final four were given video messages, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing them. I just think it's always really really wholesome. I think it's going to be a good week for episodes. You know, we're getting the cookout next week, and I'm you know yeah yes I'm excited for that, but for me it's always Tiffany. I'm most excited to see Tiffany out of the six of them. But it's cool that they're getting them all back together again. And uh, and the video messages. I really hope we do get to see those in the episode. And it wasn't just a case of just doing it for the feeds. Um, well, not for the feeds even. You know, just, just for just for the house guests. But I do. I think we'll get to see them. Fingers crossed anyway. But I think it's going to be a good week ahead. And uh, like I say with this season of Big Brother. It's expect the unexpected, right? We're going into each cycle of Final 5, Final 4, Final 3. Going, who the hell is going to make it? And that for me, folks, is Big Brother. Britney revealed her big secret as a hypnotherapist, and not much happened. <laughs> um, I feel like it's more effective if I don't say anything in this little segment. You know, it's uh, it takes me back to Nicole revealing she was a cop. I think there's a difference, though, because I think Britney, like, you can tell, like, Actually loves her job as a hypnotherapist and I think she was proud to kind of reveal it slightly. But it wasn't like a... It wasn't a big reveal. Whereas Nicole, it kind of always felt like when she taught, told people she was a cop, it was like she was doing it for... <sighs> slightly more attention maybe. And you know, to think like, you know, you should look up at me because I was a cop. That kind of vibe. I don't know if anybody else got that vibe with Nicole as well. What I will say about Nicole though is I'm happy she kind of didn't um, end up doing a... A 180, you know, um, in the in the postseason, we saw with Paloma, with Daniel, with those arrogant people that they came out and basically just spun it around and said, Taylor was a bully. She was horrible to us. Yeah, sure thing. Taylor, the one that you guys brought to tears week in, week out and isolated her amongst the whole house. Like, I... Nicole actually listened to what was said to her and she backed away from the limelight. And I'm not saying that's amazing that she made herself disappear, but I think it shows growth. It shows that she wasn't about trying to make herself look like she was right. And I respect the hell out of that. And Nicole, with her, I did not expect that at all. Did not expect that one bit. So I appreciate her for doing that. Um, and it's 10 times better than what Paloma or Daniel have done because... <laughs> I could talk all day about it, but uh, let's focus on the positive. That Taylor's going to the final three after what they spewed on her. You know, she's going to the final three and potentially the final two. And potentially, dare I say, she's going to win Big Brother 24. It's time for a Kevin McAllister face. It's becoming a, it's becoming a staple of TV talks with Tom. Um, but yeah, I think that's amazing. It's a, it's a full, st it's a full all around story and you know, it's a full circle thing, hopefully in the end. But yeah, just going back from that with the whole hypnotherapist thing, it didn't, obviously doesn't pack as much of a punch as a cop, but I think there's different reasons behind revealing it. And I think Brittany knows that she is going home this week. So I think that's probably why she revealed her big secret. Okay. Get the bass guitar out because it's time for a fan favorite segment return on TV talks with Tom. Welcome. To Sexy Talks with Tom. I'm not even going to try and do it. You guessed it, folks. We're talking about some sexy times in the head of household room. Um, here we go. As I'm looking at my screen right now, there's a clip alongside it of Monty and Taylor getting a bit steamy. Here we go. So. Shower time. That feels like no other appropriate way to start this. But anyway. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, okay. So, Taylor and Monty took a shower together. Uh, they put like the black blanket things over the top like uh, to basically block out the, the glass bit. Um, gonna leave that one up to the imagination as to what they got up in there. Because I don't think it was just a wholesome clean. Uh, that <laughs> that's just my guess. Um, anyway. And then uh, another point, we <laughs> we have uh, some shower talk as well. I'm going to read out this transcript here. Taylor says to Monty, just in a jokey way, F you, Monty. And Monty says, F me. And then Taylor goes, okay. Taylor goes, shower time. 
then Monty says, yeah, we should condition my beard in the shower. And Taylor, and they made out for like 45 seconds straight. And then Taylor's like, <clears throat> mm, I'm not, there was a bit more sexiness to the morn. <laughs> what does this season come to? What does TV Talks with Tom come to? You know, I started this, this channel out as a, let's think, I was... I was 18. I was I was a young 18-year-old man <laughs> talking about the alliances that were formed. And here we are as a 20-year-old man <laughs> reenacting shower time with Taylor and Monty. Oh, boy, we've came a long way and I've learned some more skills along the way. <sighs> I love doing this channel. I really do. But sometimes I'm sat here going... Is this where we are right now? Are we reenacting pre-shower dirty talk? Yes, we are. And uh, I appreciate you all sticking around for it. Y'all are the best. That is all of your live feed updates for today, folks. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching. Please let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you hope that Turner is the fourth place of this year? Or do you hope it's Brittany? Who would you like to see as the final three head of household making the decision on who gets to the final two? And who would you like to win Big Brother 24? There's an awful lot of questions. There really is. So drop all your conversation in the comment section below. Now, I want to thank everybody. I got my analytics through from um, Thursday this week and it was the most successful day ever on TV Talks with Tom. I can't thank you all enough. I mean, that's just wild to me. Thank you so, 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 so much. I thought, you know, as we were coming to the, the end of the season, you know, things were starting to go a bit down and we don't get as much kind of who was... We do... It, it kind of peaks usually in the middle of the season, but there we did it. We The most successful day ever on TV Talks with Tom on Thursday. So thank you so, so much, everybody, for being so wonderful um, and just cool-ass people. Thank you so, so much. You've made one guy very, very happy going into this weekend. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. I hope everybody's happy. And I'll say as I always do, make sure that you're staying safe, staying positive and staying healthy out there. And remember to be kind to one another. But in the meantime, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all of that wonderful stuff. But until your next live feed update, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.